Hello crafty friends, I'm Lean from Studio Kato and I'm so glad you're joining me again today. Today I have another video focusing mostly on die cuts and I'm using products from Crafty Meraki today. So to start out for this card, I cut out all of my pieces. I cut a bunch of flowers. Um, I cut 12 from a really light pink cardstock that I'm not sure I know the name of. And I cut a bunch of the same ones from white cardstock to layer behind them for added dimension. These flowers are from Crafty Moraki. They are part of their latest release and I really like them. They are the Chloe uh, Flora Paradise. I really, really like the shape of them. I did cut off the stems of all of these because they didn't fit my design. But the stems are obviously fun to use in a bouquet as well. Now this is a really easy way to add color to your die cuts. One, I did cut them out of slightly colored cardstock, but it's so light I wanted to add a little bit more to it as well. I am adding some ink blending in the center of these flowers, and I'm using some Pink Fresh Studio inks for that. I am sticking to pink for this card. It's going to be a whole lot of pink, but I really like how it turns out in the end. The colors I used are again from Pink Fresh Studio. The first row of flowers I did was Ballet Slipper, then I used Sparkling Rose, and now I am using the Coral Reef ink. I'm lightly blending those on with a blending brush. And this is really easy to get a smooth blend, but also because I'm going to add splatter, it doesn't have to be perfect at all. I first used all of those same inks to add a little bit of splatter to all of the flowers, but none of that footage was in focus, so you're only seeing me adding the gold splatter at the end. I used some fine tech paints for that, and that gives a really nice gold finish with some fun shimmer and shine as well. For the sentiment, I am also using a dye by Crafty Meraki. This is the Thanks Shadow Paradise. And I really like the script of these. They have a bunch of different words available, but the thanks is one of those sentiments that I use a lot. I cut that out four times out of thick white cardstock and I'm layering all of those together. And as you see, I put on the glue first, then dab it off onto a scrap piece of cardstock and that just makes it so none of the glue will ooze out of the sides. All of the excess glue will stick to the scrap piece of paper, but it will leave plenty of glue on the die cut itself to adhere to the other die cut or to your card. And I find that really helpful when stacking dies together. Now for my panel, I have to admit I made a mistake here, just I cut the wrong size panel. This is five and a quarter inch by four and a quarter inch instead of your standard A2 size panel but it doesn't really make that much of a difference and I just continued with it. Uh, I am drawing a frame on that, a simple frame with that same gold paint I did, I used for the splatter and that just gives a nice frame to our design. I am not freehanding this, I did measure it out first and uh, sketched it out with pencil and I'm just tracing over that with that fine tech gold paint. Now this gold paint by Fintech is also great to use as a color for your die cuts. Now technically this is watercolor paint, so maybe not all papers will handle this well, but it's also not at all like watercolor paint. Um, it's more like an ink uh, and it's very thick, so it doesn't really uh, saturate your paper with a whole lot of water. It just lays on top of it more. It acts a lot different than watercolor paint. But if you're worried about it ruining your die cut, always test it out on a scrap piece of paper beforehand. I am also covering the edges of this die with that paint uh, and that will give it a whole gold look and it will look like a gold embellishment. Now I set that aside to dry, but again, because it's not really like watercolor paint, it doesn't take a whole lot of time to dry. So it's very forgiving for non-patient people like me. And I'm just arranging all of my floral pieces on there and testing out where I want to put that sentiment. I will change my mind later, I always do. 
and I am adding these florals in very different um, dimensions. So I'm gluing some straight onto the paper and then I will glue some on top of more white die cuts to add dimension to them and then glue them on top of the card. And that will add a whole lot of interest to your background. I'm adhering everything with Barely Art Precision Craft Glue and as you can see I am now stacking two white die cuts together and layering one of the pink uh, die cuts on top of that. And then I can glue that onto my card. I think it's worth it to spend that extra time on layering some dies together, but if you're in a hurry or if you don't want to die cut a bunch of extra pieces, uh, you can also add dimension to this panel by just gluing uh, or just adhering the center of the floral pieces onto the card base. And that way the leaves will flare up a little bit and that will give a lot of movement and dimension to your panel as well and it will be a lot easier and quicker to do. I'm gluing all of those onto my panel and then I will also um, trim off the excess of all the petals that are hanging over the edges. There are quite a bit. I always go over the edge of my panel and that way it looks like your design continues over the edge of your card. And I will use those extra pieces that I cut off and add them in my design again. And that just saves those pieces from being thrown in the bin. And then I'm adhering my sentiment as well, using that Barely Art Precision Craft Glue again. Now this will be adhered a little bit wonky because you're working on top of uh, florals that have a uh, varying dimension, but it works out in the end. The die is sturdy enough, the sentiment is sturdy enough because they, those are stacked die cuts and it won't sag in the mail or anything like that. Now I'm folding a matching envelope using my We Are Memory Keepers 123 punch board and I used some soft gray cardstock for that. I like to use gray envelopes when my card has a lot of white. I'm not sure why, but <laughs> that's what I like. And I am adding some color to that as well. This is again that sparkling rose ink from Pink Fresh Studio and I'm just blending that on into the bottom left corner. And to bring in some of the gold from that card I'm going to add, I mean will I call this a design? I'm not sure. I'm just adding some stripes to the edge of that as well. Just a little touch of something gold. And that's it, a super simple envelope and a really fun floral card. I really like how this one turned out. It's so pretty with the pink and the gold. It's not a color palette I usually go for. It's very girly and I really, really like it. I hope you like it too. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and leave your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to read them. You can also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos and subscribe to the Crafty Meraki YouTube channel as well. I do post there weekly and I would love to see you there too. I'll make sure to link that in the description below along with a list of all the products I use today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.